as you're going to create this from this what's up guys how have you been myself i've been good i've been enjoying the process and loving the energy you guys put into loving my videos i feel like that's the only thing i have to hold on to start creating these amazing videos for you guys and literally that forced me only to go deep down into the comment section to see what are you guys thinking about my videos and one 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 thing that stood out after reading like comments for the entire day like i realized you guys are saying my videos alone and two my videos are good which actually that's that's for you and me guys thanks for the energy thanks always i mean like watching my videos that only is enough and subscribing might, might be like double enough but yeah you can do it if you want i'm not forcing anyone to subscribe but uh Actually, I'm forcing you, you should. You should so that you know whenever I upload a video because actually that also helps me to grow. So yeah, so in today's video, I want to combat feedback number one, which is like the videos being too long. And I realize like I always like pack a lot of material into one video because I feel like you guys should learn a lot from me. And I realize like maybe you guys don't have much time to sit around and watch like a 16 minutes video or a 20 minutes video. And I want to do something that really helps you like just come and learn something quick and go so as you can see we have a new setup and that means i'm introducing a new segment that is geared towards you guys who don't have much time on your hands and if you're that kind of person who just want to come here in a matter of seconds learn a thing or two in design or life i mean this segment is for you and we figured out a name already what we're going to name this segment and i want to name it like pro tips i hope that sounds good yeah, we'll keep it like if it doesn't sound good we'll change it in the future so in today's pro tip without wasting your time because that's why you're here i want to show you how to create like a sticker feel actually this was a request from the guys on instagram when i posted this piece a lot of people were intrigued to see or to learn what tool did i use to create this and what kind of technique do i use so in today's video i want to show you how you can turn your flat work into that sticker feel that is easy to present to your client if you want to tell her or him that this design is supposed to be a sticker so this is the best way to do it and you need two things one you need a sticker material you need a sticker that has you need a sticker image that has some folds on it and two you need the design so let's just dive into it and looking at this this is what we're going to do we're going to create this from this you're going to turn this guy to this guy we're going to get something boring and super flat into something looking grungy and real life you get a point so let's just dive into it without wasting your time so what i'm just gonna do i'm just going to put this guy the guy we're trying to create on the side and i show you what i did so i have some stick already i'll just go ahead and import the sticker where did i put it so it's in assets i think yeah so this is my sticker this guys ignore my notifications that's what's up so this is my sticker i'll just go ahead copy this sticker and uh one so my sticker is on the clipboard i'll just go ahead and group this guy and the tool we're going to be using here is the appearance panel i mean like my god like i've been talking about this tool almost in every video i've produced for the past couple of days i mean you can go check out those videos if you want But yeah, the appearance tool or the appearance panel is really, really incredible. It's one of the best tools in Adobe Illustrator. So what you want to do is like group your uh, your design. You might be even applying this on a poster. So I'll just group that quick and go toggle in like opacity in the appearance panel. If you don't have it, you just go up here on Windows. and uh, It will be somewhere there. You can see it. So yeah. So I would click on appearance and then go ahead to click make mask because that that's essential actually essential then I want to go into the mask of just mode so when you click that it will take you into the mask uh, then I'll just go click in click click mask and then paste in place my sticker so I've pasted in my sticker the next thing I'll do I'll just go ahead move it to find where my design is because yeah, something might not show till you find your design. Uh, so I'm looking for where the folds are because we want to show that, that this is a sticker and the best way to present a sticker, those are the sticker folds. 
is mine. It's hard to stick something without folds. Um, so I'm looking for a space or something where there are so many folds uh, to show what I'm. Okay, what, what did I say there? So I'm, imagine I'm pitching my client now. So I'll try to scale it in and see whether it will show more, more folds. Yeah, so there you go. You see that? That works like magic, you see? Let me scale it a little bit even more so that it looks like a sticker. Yeah, so there is that side of the sticker. You can see it. It really looks like a sticker. And one thing also it does, it helps you kind of hide in some reduces on like uh, the hue of the colors in in the design so that it makes it like real uh, real life kind of hue saturations I guess that makes sense does it does it I don't know it, it should make sense if you know what I'm saying so I'll just go use maybe these folds at the other side of the edge because they look so deep yeah and boom you can see i mean like these segments are going to be sweet i mean like that's it guys the next thing you need to do is just click out the mask click out of mask so you in this this is the mask click out of the mask and you're done but uh, whew. without further ado guys that has been it like uh thank you for sticking around i'll catch you in the next one i hope you've learned something quick let me know if I rushed the entire thing, but this is going to be it. This is going to be it without wasting your time. If you're new to the channel, don't waste my time. Don't waste anyone's time. Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe and turn on the bells to know whenever I upload a new video. But uh, let me know what you think about like, the new segment, Pro Tips. And actually also let me know what you think about a new setup. What do you think about this new setup? Do we stick to the other setup? Because I shoot from there. You let me know. That's all you guys. You define whatever we do on this channel. I'll catch you in the next one. Love ya.